you all are curious about this, but ASMR is not a requirement within Reiki. You know, Reiki got very, very popular because of the ASMR artists who did Reiki role plays. And so, you know, ASMR is something I love, 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 love. And as a Reiki practitioner, I just think it bears so well together. But it's not a requirement. It's not a requirement at all. In fact, hands-on sessions feel a lot differently than uh, distant ses sessions, distant sessions like what we're doing right now online. I knew off the bat that I wanted to do distance, even though my training was uh, hands-on, and it actually luckily turned out to give distance experience too, um, but I just knew, I just knew, okay, that's my bad, that's where I'm gonna be, that's where I feel comfortable. That's where, you know, um, but I'm not gonna lie, you know, before the pandemic, I had an in-person practice and sometimes I do be feeling like opening them doors back <laughs> your 
see the highest experience learned and let go of all the other stuff, okay? What did you get out of the experience? How did it shape you? Now, look at the power you have. Just, you're ready to let it go. 
time, you can use the comment section as a journal, a diary, reflection. Also, if there's any requests, healing sessions we want to share with the community, you can do so there. So let's move this about, move this about, move this about. Just particularly taking on anything that is no longer serving you.
source energy um, in, in the name of I am, meaning you co-create the life that you live, that the way that you view things in your mind always comes to be. So if you surround yourself by people who are negative and you, including yourself, are constantly thinking negative thoughts, that's what you attract because the mind is so powerful. A lot of the times when we do manifestation work or we can call it like magic or something like that, it really isn't this thing of like, oh, it's coming from your hands or it's coming from, you know, you doing this spell. It's coming from the mind. The mind is the, the most powerful thing we have and we barely use it to its fullest capacity. Like when we get into mediumship or we get into intuitive work, that's coming from right up here. So it is expansive and it is growth oriented, but most importantly, it is here for you on your path as you go on your path. Feel very comfortable trusting in yourself. Don't feel like you got to trust in things outside of yourself. Trust in yourself first and then the right things will fall into place. Okay. Always bet on yourself. So now that I'm done <laughs> talking about that, we're going to go into the Reiki symbols and I honestly take a moment to talk about these things because my number one pet peeve within our um, spiritual communities is when people don't reflect on things um, for what they are. You know, everybody wants to manifest something, uh, but does everybody always talk about like letting things go before you can even manifest it or even questioning yourself, wondering why you want a certain thing. Sometimes you're at a vibrational state that actually isn't where you are destined to go. So if you start to manifest things from that vibrational state, then you will begin to receive things that actually aren't where you need to go. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like you're a big fish in a small pond, but you need to continue to expand. But if you only keep your dreams small, then you won't really get what you deserve. And so I always like to take a moment to say, you know, sometimes it's it's better to just let life flow and also know how to adjust when life isn't happening the way you want. And that doesn't really even take any kind of <laughs> any kind of manipulation or anything like that. Just understand the wisdom that comes. That's what I realized all of the years. I was actually talking to Repo because my sister about this, you know, the more that we learn, the more we practice, the more we release, surrender, and just allow it to be, you know, you don't feel like you gotta go out your way to do things, you trust that the universe will send it to you at its right time, you no longer look at things in like a positive or negative thing, you see it as a, a way for your soul to expand, and you feel like um, more in control of your energy without having to manipulate everything outside of you, okay? I'm going to sit down now, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to go in now with the Reiki symbols.
only situation or scenario you need, the only person you need is yourself and to give yourself permission to do it. Letting go of the baggage, letting go of the past, letting go of preconceived notions, beliefs, and all this other stuff. You get to empower yourself to go much further and much farther than what anyone told you. Now, it's a little difficult when you're surrounded by energy that is um, uh, reinforcing these things that aren't in alignment, but if you can find the strength within you to get yourself to where you need to go in a vibrational state, you know, the, the, the your potential is unlimited. You can do anything, and the most beautiful thing about it is when people get to that state, even though they can societal positive thing to do is when you get to the space where you just have unconditional love for yourself where you feel in control of yourself your body you have that body autonomy you have that physical space you feel in control of your life regardless of what happens and do your moods and your feelings and your thoughts that is where true power comes and that's when you start to share your life purpose with others so
you 
action. So if you're new to the community, 
embrace what you uniquely and truly love. That is how you find peace, connectedness, health, wealth, and balance. Well, family, if no one has said it to you, babies, let me go ahead and say it to you. I love you. But who cares if I love you? The only thing that matters is if you love you. So, I'll see you next